Hey, what's up? This is Tyler. In this video, I will review the number one Mi 4 white with 5 inch OGS HD display that I got from coolicool.com. This model is a one to one clone of the well known Xiaomi Mi 4 from China. So inside this phone we find the MTK6582 quad core chipset clocked at 1.3 GHz. It has 1 GB of RAM and 16 GB of storage. The number one Mi 4 is a good alternative for the user who loves the Mi 4 design but don't want to spend 400 to 450 US dollars on the original. As always have a look on coolicool.com and in the video description and my blog for more details and where to get this phone. So let us first have a look on the physical aspect. Here in the top we find the earpiece, the light and proximity sensor. We have a 5 megapixel front facing camera and the interpolated it would be 8 megapixels. So here we have the 5 inch HD display with 1280 by 720 resolution. And you notice these very thin bezels that makes the screen and the whole phone looks really really premium. Below here we have hardware touch buttons with backlight and a notification LED in different colors. So the notification LED will be placed here. You can see it right now, but I will show this later in the review. So uh, you notice we have here a metal frame, an alloy frame, really really nice. And in the bottom we find the micro USB together with the microphone. We also have here the loudspeaker. On this side we find the power button together with the volume rocker. In the top we have the real IR blaster that support over 2800 devices. We have here also the 3.5mm headphone jack. And uh, on this side we find the tray for the micro sim card. So this one will look exactly like on the original. So on the back we find the 8 megapixel rear camera and this one will be 13 megapixel interpolated. This phone is single SIM and uh, inside we also have a 2300 mAh battery. We also see here we have here a noise cancelling microphone. We find the LED flash. You also notice this nice texture on the back just like on the original Xiaomi Mi 4. So here we see the nice number one logo in silver. We see the FTC and C logos. So overall I'm very impressed with this device. This is maybe one of the best MTK 6582 clones I have seen because it's so premium, yeah, the hardware feels so good in the hand and uh, I would say with closed eyes you can't feel any difference from this one and the original because they have exactly the same weight, the same size, the same feel. Everything is one to one, so it's really really hard to feel any difference. Okay, so now I'm going to check the weight and the size. So let us check first the number one Mi 4. So this one is 163 gram. And uh, I also have the original Xiaomi Mi 4 here. You can see it says Mi here. So this one, let's check. This one is only 151 gram. So that's a surprise. And uh, let me also check the thickness here. We have here on zero. So let me check here in the center of the phone what it says. We have here 9.27 millimeter. Let me check here on the original here. This is the original Mi 4. You see it here. So let me check what this one says. So this one is only 8.85 millimeter. But because of the small differences, you still can use original screen protectors and cases from the Xiaomi Mi 4 on the number one Mi 4 here. The only thing you have to notice is that the back covers will not fit because the back covers on the original will have some other cutouts here in the sides. So they cannot be fitted on the, the clone here. So just remember that. You see here the logo in the corner on the original and there's no logo here. But you notice that the bezels are exactly the same, they are very thin. Also the screen seems to be very dark on both, really really dark. 
but on this one here the surface will be a little more smooth and nice because this one is using real Gorilla Glass 3 I believe and this one I don't know what this is could also be Gorilla Glass maybe one but still the display and glass on this one is really really nice let's have a look here below on the touch buttons they are also almost the same as you see here and both have notification LED from the side check here let's check the bottom here you also see it's exactly the same let's check the top also the same here it looks really really nice and let's have a close look on the IR blaster let's check here see the volume rocker and the power button the back we also have here the same get really close and this is the number one and this is the Mi 4 okay so let me now show you how to remove the back cover on the number one a moment I will do it from this side so just do like this and you can remove the back cover really easily see here Okay, so let us have a look here. See the camera, the parts for the antennas, and you also see the LED flash. You see the battery, and I believe maybe you can remove it, but I haven't tried that yet. So for now, I will just let be. Okay, on the original, you can also remove the back cover the same way. So this one can be a little more tight. Let's compare the back covers. So this is the original. See here there are some differences between these two. Okay, so here we have the, the Xiaomi Mi 4 and here the number one. So also here you see it's not completely the same. And also notice that the battery is smaller here than here. But still this one is a real through 3000 milliampere while this is a 2300 but it's incredible how much I like this phone uh, looks and uh, for the price I think the number one Mi 4 is a really really good buy so the next thing I'm going to do now is to boot up the phone so we can see the boot animation and the speed so we see it says smart 3G Android See here an animation from number one. So uh, now the phone is booted up and we see here it has signal and reception. Also notice that the Wi-Fi and signal is pretty nice on this phone here. We have here the lock screen so this one will show the Mi UI 5 and um, some may know this UI here is really really nice and the one thing you can do here on the lock screen is you can hold and press the button here and it will activate the flashlight here so you just always have the flashlight at your hand just press and hold really convenient and uh, you can also double tap here to switch to the music player so now I'm in the music player double tap again and you re return to the lock screen and here you can also go directly to the camera or the phone or the SMS so here we see the UI and notice these really really good colors and the sharp picture here and good viewing angles there's absolutely nothing wrong with the viewing angles and the screens so I really like this display here you can see really really nice and then now to a pressure test on the screen so let me just try to press really hard and see here the screen here is really really solid it's not uh, weak or thin at all I will try here again see Actually, I'm pressing really, really hard on the screen with the finger. 
so this screen you should not be worried about uh, it's being thin or a crack or giving back bleeding or something like that this is actually really really hard let me just scroll a little bit here in the UI so you can see here okay so that's smooth as you notice here and let's also have a look here for example inside the folders here you can see there are nice animations here so let's have a look now on the quick toggles and here you see the quick toggles nice and notifications go back turn down the brightness a little bit so here you see brightness here are all the quick toggles you can rearrange them here and let's have a look on the task manager with a hole here so you see the task manager you can of course lock one here unlock or remove you can clear the memory okay so you also see the light here and the notification led here is white right now you can have this in different colors so when you get an email or SMS or something, it be for example blue or red. And here you can see the notification LED in blue. Here you see some of the settings, change wallpapers and so on. Let's have a look in wallpapers, desktop, lock screen and so on, UI wallpaper. And uh, let me also show you the lowest brightness setting this is the lowest and let me show you the highest this is the highest and uh, let us have now a look in the settings so I will just scroll down the settings here so you can see here what we have and uh, we also have here quick settings See them here, and uh, let's have a look in about phone. So normally uh, it would show the MIUI logo here if this was original MIUI, but uh, actually I think this is a launcher based on Android uh, 4.2 because uh, actually it does say it's the 4.4.2, but then you see here that actually it shows Jelly Bean. So I'm pretty sure the phone is just running Jelly Bean. Let's also see here the CPU and the info about the RAM and internal memory, baseband and so on. And the system updates here, but you can't actually do anything with this. Don't think it really works. And let's go back. And uh, let's have a look here in the launcher settings. So here we have different effects, like on the original. You also see here cell layout type, you can change that and so on. You have buttons and keys. So here you can for example long press and set another option or an app. You can long press for start the camera, disable on lock screen and you can wake the phone with the volume rocker. So let's have a look in all settings again. We have here LED. So you can set different colors. We have headset settings. Let's have a look on the storage here. So we see here we have totally one gigabyte internal and the rest here available. 13 gigabyte is in the storage here. So totally we have 16 gigabyte of storage on this phone and uh, one gigabyte of RAM. Let's see what we else have here. We have do not disturb settings, we have security and privacy, status bar. So you can change here compact or page. You can show the network speed, traffic info, and so on. So this phone is multi language, you can see it here. So that's really nice. Let me just scroll through the different languages here. So it's okay. Let's go back again. And uh, another convenient thing is that uh, this phone comes with the Play Store pre-installed. 
Um, the original Xiaomi Mi 4 doesn't uh, come with the Play Store, it comes with the Mi Market instead, but uh, this one has it, so let me just show it. You can see here this is the Play Store and this works perfectly fine, you can update apps and so on. So that's really really nice. Let us also try the browser, like this one. So let's see. You can see it loads pretty fast. So even I'm two rooms away from the router actually. So let's scroll a little bit here, you can see it's okay. Fast and uh, there's a lot of pictures on this page there, so I have to load a lot here, but it looks to be good. And uh, one thing you can do is you can slide here in the top to change the tab. And uh, you can do this also on the original uh, Mi 4, but it's exactly the same here, so that's really really nice. See here, slide from tab to tab in the corner. And uh, now let me show you the gallery. So the gallery also looks a little different than normally. And let's see here, local pictures. So see it's uh, different, it's not just stock, it has these nice uh, animations. So you can see when I slide and rotate the screen here, see it really really nice. And uh, these are sample pictures, I will provide these in the video description. So remember to have a look there. Actually the camera is pretty decent I would say and um, let's have a look here inside the camera now and uh, it does look a lot like the original camera and you just notice these beeps from the, the camera uh, actually they are pretty annoying it's when it's uh, focusing um, it, it's really good to focus but um, you have to turn down the volume here to avoid that uh, I haven't found any setting to disable the, the sound but uh, you can see it's pretty fast to focus, really really good and um, all this looks almost like the on the original uh, Xiaomi Mi 4 and um, the front facing camera when you have um, it detects a face actually it can also guess the age of this person and uh, this uh, is from the original uh, Mi 4 but this one here can also do this so that's really really nice and we also have here the settings go into the settings here, see here we have simple mode, picture size, picture quality, star location and so on. We have here face detection, sharpness, focus mode, let's have a look inside here, we can see infinity, macro and so on, yeah, okay, let's go back again here and uh, let me try to switch to the front facing camera. So you see the picture quality is okay for selfies actually. Let's have a look on color effects. So here we see different effects. ISO. Okay, so let me try to do a sample shot here so we can see the quality. So let me zoom in and you can see, we can see the details really really good, you have to zoom really really close to see all the noise overall I think the camera is pretty decent and uh, let us have a look here in file explorer so the file explorer is also different than normal you can see here it will list music videos, pictures and so on, really really nice, you see here the phone, you can see it like this, directories or you can get it like this listed, so really really convenient. Okay so now I'm going to test out the OTG, so here is a USB stick with the OTG cable, so let me try to see what happens if I put this inside the phone here. See it's found here yeah, as external USB storage, so this will work just fine it seems. Let me go into the file explorer and let me try here phone. Do we 
can see here for example let's go into pictures so here it will find the pictures on the USB stick actually so that's really really nice yeah let's go back back again and let me also try for example music so here we see the music and let me try this one turn up the volume so this seems to work good and uh, now I will connect to a Bluetooth speaker you see it here so let me connect Bluetooth and we see it's found really really quick connect here so it's connected let me go back here and let me try music here and let's see for example all songs and I see this is from the USB stick here let me try this one really really loud works good and uh, I must say that this uh, player here is a special player I installed you can find the, the MIUI apps on the Play Store and install some uh, special apps from MIUI these didn't come on the phone uh, from the beginning but let me show you for example here the piano here Okay, so let me show you some special uh, features here. You can here make um, shortcuts to power off or reboot directly by clicking here. Or you can, for example, here disable these three touch buttons with this. So you can see now they have no function when I click. So they are completely disabled here. You can enable them again with holding the home and the power or you can just click here. Now they again will work as normal. Okay, so now let me demonstrate a test call. So this is the proximity sensor, you can see it works. Okay, so here you see the lock screen and you see they are almost the same. You see here the UI. So the difference is that this one is using the MIUI that emulates the version 5 and on this one running the real MIUI I updated to version 6. So this one will look a little different. Uh, they removed the shadows from the icons in the new version and uh, let's just scroll a little bit you can see here. It is almost the same still, but uh, there are small differences. And here, when I hold and click here, it will show like this. So that's a little different. And uh, let's also have a look here in the top. So in the new version, they made it a little bit simpler here. It's just simple, and uh, you can see it here. This is more like uh, on iPhone, I would say almost. And I also notice on the original you can turn down the brightness completely, it's almost dark. So this way you can really save some battery. Let's go into the settings here. See here. Go back and back. And let's check out the light in the buttons. You see it's also kind of dim here. On the 
original it's them also so almost the same Let's check out the viewing angles I would say the viewing angles are very identical almost the same you can see the, the number one me4 also has really really good viewing angles so that's really nice and there's nothing to complain over so in the next few minutes I will just show you some test apps and some settings. I will put the music louder in the background, so please just enjoy.
We are now in the end of this video and I will now list some of the main pros and cons. First the pros. The design is really cool and with closed eyes you can't feel any difference from this one and the original. The display has very good colors and a very sharp picture. In my test I only experienced good reception, GPS and Wi-Fi and downloads were also pretty fast. The MIUI looks really nice and almost offer all the same settings as the original. The price for this phone is amazing. You get one of the best MTK6582 clones out for a very cheap price. So about the cons. The KitKat 4.4 seems to be fake. In reality it's just 4.2 jelly bean. Original back covers from Xiaomi Mi 4 doesn't fit this phone. And uh, the battery is smaller than on the original. But still okay for at least one day's usage. The MIUI on this phone is just a launcher and you can't really update or change the themes. The IR blaster works but you have to point it very precisely at the TV before it reacts. So uh, that's it for now, remember also to check out my blog, you find the link in the video description. If you have any questions please comment below, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.